So welcome to our new set of videos on financial maths. So these are exam learns videos for Leaving Cert High Level Maths. Uh, if you click on the link in the description, you should be able to go to our website and you see all the cool things we offer, like free exam papers and marking schemes side by side. So you don't have to click in and click out, uh, as well as A grade study notes and exam answers um, on every single other subject, not just on maths. But anyway, uh, we'll go through this series is gonna be about financial maths. So the order we're gonna go through these topics on uh, is as I have bullet pointed here. So first we're gonna look at compound interest, then we're gonna look at present and future value of money, then depreciation, just one short video, then the three hard topics are gonna be savings, pensions, and mortgages. So that's the order we're gonna go through uh, these topics in, in these videos. This is just a short intro video. Um, so as part of the intro, I'll just give you a quick basic. So financial maths is gonna come up on paper one of the exam. Uh, generally, it's either gonna be a short question or a 50 marker so it's going to be somewhere between 25 to 50 marks that's how many marks we're talking about so yeah short question or 50 marks um, and then what else you need to know your sequences and series so i'll write that here so sequences and series if you haven't done sequences and series yet uh, then i recommend doing it there's not much point looking at the these videos without having done sequences and series especially the last three so the first few we could probably do but the last three without sequences and series be useless um yeah so the method we're going to solve these last three problems with is going to be using sequences and series so there is a formula but we're not going to be using the formula just because the sequences and series method is more versatile okay so with sequence and series we can do a lot more than just with the formula the formula is kind of stuck in one specific case so yeah, that's about all I have to say in this video. Again, it was just a short intro. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you do. And tell your friends about these videos if you found them helpful. So next video, we're going to look at compound interest and the present and future value of money. So we'll see you then.